Okay, one more review before I hit the sack, and that's, uh, well, this is technically not a review. I'm giving my thoughts on the Joker manga that that's uh, currently b being made right now, which has a perfect score on the website that I use, which, is, of course, it does. They give a perfect score on almost everything. And that, that manga I'm talking about is One Operation Joker by uh, mangaka Mia Kawala Satoshi. Which this is, it, it says action, comedy, drama, psychological genre. When really this manga is a slice of life comedy, right? So it's, uh, I think it was uh, put out by, you know, DC and some other fucking... Uh, company. I gotta be careful with my tone because I I reviewed uh, a manga that didn't come out yet in, in the West. It was just being like you know put out like you know uh, online or whatever. And the Japanese manga, the Japanese uh, people or whatever, the Japanese like uh, I don't know if it was like the mangaka themselves or somebody from the publisher saw my video and I'm guessing despite the fact I gave it a high rating I gave it a, a decent rating right because I ranted in the video they went by my tone and fucking copyright strike me which I only recently had that lifted I think right three months so uh, the, the so this is not a review. This is me giving my thoughts, and I've only, I've only read like the first like you know, uh, nine ch nine chapters, right? Uh, and that that uh, manga I'm reading is One Operation Joker, which is a manga about basically Joker, whose uh, costume wise is very reminiscent of. Joaquin Phoenix's like you know Joker, but it's with the the comic accurate colors. Though he has like these like he's painted like a Donald mask over his eyes for whatever reason. Uh, gets in a fight with Batman at like at like the chemical plant that first that had the uh, giant vats of chemicals that. Turn Joker into the Joker, right? Uh, Batman falls in, right, and turns into a baby. Apparently, that the chemical plant was working on anti-aging <laughs> chemicals, and it turns into uh, Batman turns into a baby, right? And Joker, you know, seeing his adversary become a baby decides to take the baby raise it as his own so he can come back and will raise him as a villain so not as a villain as a superhero so he can get his adversary back right and you know he has help from like Harley Quinn and Johnny Frost who's like his number number one henchman who was in the the first Suicide Squad film, who apparently was first introduced in like uh, Brian Az Azzarello uh, comic book, which I'm not a fan of Brian Azzarello Batman comics because the uh, I don't know they're too like they're they're too like by I don't know they're too like crime they come off like Law and Order like you know crime stories and it's like dude I need more like you know more crazy shit i love cr i like crazy shit in my like batman comics right yeah uh, so yeah my my problem with this this manga is there's no action it's basically joker running around trying to uh take care of this baby which he names bruce by the way <laughs> because you know bruce wayne like you know He's trying to get the baby, like, you know, um, in a n nursery school, right? So, because he, because, you know, he, uh, he's getting, you know, he's getting, like, burnt out, like, staying with the baby 24-7, right? Um, so, so there's, like, a scene where, like, oh, 
uh, Bruce Wayne, like, on TV, like, you know, uh, well, there was an announcement that Bruce Wayne uh, on TV made it so, like, all nursery school, like, you know, applicants would be accepted, right? Which nursery schools are apparently, uh, like, babysitting facilities where they'll, they'll take in any kid for free, right? Which I've never heard of that shit, like, free daycare, but whatever, right? Uh, yeah, the manga is just... Man, I should have done this, like, a week ago when I first started reading it. But, like, the manga is just boring. There's, like I said, there's no action. It's just, you know, kind... Like, you know, Joker... You, you've you seen Joker and weird comedic scenes and the baby... Uh, like, it's, it's like a... It's basically a sitcom where the premise is Joker's raising a baby, right? And the baby just happens to be Bruce Wayne, Right? Uh, Batman, which he calls Bat-Chan, and Harley Quinn calls Joker Pudding-Chan, and it's like, oh my god, right, it's, it's just boring, and like, Joker's running around town, and like, nobody recognizes him, <laughs> uh, it's just, oh my god, also, there's like a scene where like, Joker needs Harley Quinn, and he goes to rescue Harley Quinn, who's about to be killed by some gang, and they see the baby harness on Joker and think thinks it's like, you know, some some big bomb. And they let Joker go with Harley Quinn, which was so fucking dumb. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I honestly, if you're, I, I kind of don't know who the fuck this manga is for. Like, who, who would, what, I'm guessing this is trying to get. Japanese people into Batman comics, but this this just sucks. It, who would if this was somebody's introduction to Joker outside of the f movies? There's no way they would go check out the comics after this. This is just boring, uh, boring trash in my opinion, right? And I know people are gonna people are like sucking this manga's dick because they get to see like Joker play house husband right which is like a, a new genre in japan i'm guessing because there's all there was like some anime and manga called way of the house husband which already has like a live action movie or series or whatever on netflix which is oh my god so dumb where you get the where this is pretty much a rip off of that where that was like a yakuza guy uh well, that was like a Yakuza guy who's like a stay-at-home dad. This is dad, but what? But with the Joker from DC Comics, it's like, what the fuck? They're just straight up ripping that off <laughs> with the Joker. Oh my god, dude. So, so this is like the, one of the most retarded, like you know, crop, like, crop, like you know, cr uh, crossover adaptions ever. I've read I've read some shitty like Batman manga at the at, at the library where like DC has tried getting different like mangakas to do like you know Batman graphic novels right where the uh, I can't remember um, the series th those people did but it's like th this is worse than that because at least those were action series those were action. Well, one was, like, action, one was, like, you know, murder mystery, which fed Batman. This is just, like, a fucking slice of, like, comedy, and it's just fucking retarded. I do not recommend this to any, uh, comic book fan. Maybe check it out, just, you know, the, see if you like it. But the chapters are, like, super, super short, right? Uh, and, like, yeah, I'm, and I'm not a fan of the comedy whatsoever. Yeah, it's just... Oh, there's, like, references to the movie. There, there's, like, three references to different movies, right? Uh, one to, like, The Dark Knight, where, like, Bat where Joker burns a stack of money. Another one when Joker's dancing down the stairs. And then there's, like, a third one, which I, I, fucking for I just fucking forgot. <laughs> oh, my God. It was, like, in the uh, second to last chapter. Oh, my God. I just read and I can't remember uh, I'm sorry <laughs> this month it's the thing where like hey, this manga sucks it would have been nice 
you know, I, I, I'm trying to think of who's a cool mangaka that could pull off a Batman, a cool Batman story, and I can't really think of anything right now. But yeah, this sucks. Don't check it out. Alright, guys. Peace.